Question eight. So let's have a look and just start off, if you're not sure, just write out the first few terms. So that's five. If you just pop that into your calculator, you get five over four. In other words, it's uh, if you want it, it's a decimal. It's like that. Okay. So that's like U1. That's the first one. Um, the second one, if you just, just do the same when you calculate it, don't worry about it. Uh, it's always a good idea if you're not sure. Just you get a feel of what's going on. Um, and if you can plug that in. So after you've done a couple, you'll get a feeling that it's just being multiplied by a half each time because obviously that power is going up by one each time. So half to the six. So that's going to be five over 16. So you can see it's been halved each time. So this one here is 3125. So we've got a geometric series and it's going to converge to zero. So that should tell you, you can look in your formulae book and it should tell you that you can use, this is actually written in the formulae book, you can use this here where A is the, the first term. So that's 1.25. And R is the the amount that's being reduced by the, the, the geometric series, the link between each term, right? So it's being multiplied by half each time. So if you go and plug those in, you simply get 1.25, one take away a half, that's so divide by half. So it's so that's 2.5. Okay, let's have a look at part two. OK, so initially you think, oh, dear, this looks dreadful. So again, let's just do the same sort of thing. Just write out the first few terms and, and you'll get a feeling of what it's going to look like. So you're going to get log uh, base 5, 3 over 2. And then the next term will be, so don't worry about the base 5 for a minute. We'll sort that out in a moment. So 4 over 3. And then it's going to keep going. And then. Um, What's, what's the final term? So the final term is going to be 50 over 49. Right, now just think about your basic laws of logs. So if we want to add all these together, then your basic laws of logs. Now it's easy if you just got two of them, you just multiply them together. Well, if I've got lots of them and I'm adding them together, well, we're just going to multiply them together. So it's 3 over 2 times 4 over 3, all the ones in between. And, and we're going to have that there. OK, let's think of how this is going to simplify. The last thing I want you to do is to try and do 3 over 2 times 4 over 3 times the other ones times the other ones times 50 over 49. Well, look, it's 3. Think about what's the same. Look, I'm going to have at the top, I've got 3 times 4. And I'm going to go up to the one before is 49 over 48. So all of those are going to cancel with these guys down here. So the only things that are going to be left are the 50 over 2. So it's going to be log base 5, 50 over 2. So that's going to be log 5, 25. And plug that in, and you get 2. 